Hey guys, in this video, like promised, I will be showing you guys how to install the latest version of iOS 7 Beta 3. And for future reference, this video will be also updated with all the latest links for the newest betas. Now, I just wanted to make a fresh update video because many people were having a lot of trouble going from Beta 1 or Beta 2 to Beta 3. And this video will also show you how to install iOS 7, you know, the latest version, if you guys are running iOS 6.1.3, 6.1.4 for the iPhone 5s. Basically, this will work on all iPhone models that do support iOS 7, including the 5, 4S, 4, the iPad 4, 3, 2, the Mini, and the iPod Touch 5th generation. So this is very simple. It is free. No, you do not need any sort of account, you know, any UDID registration. You can do this absolutely for free and enjoy all the benefits of iOS 7 that a developer would have to pay $99 for. You guys can get absolutely for free. So you guys do need to download one thing. And obviously you do have to have your iPhone or iOS device connected to your computer with iTunes connected to the internet. Now you guys will need to download iOS 7, the latest version at the moment that I'm making this video. It is based to three and of course I will provide links down below in the description where you can go ahead and download that absolutely for free now be careful when downloading make sure you do get the appropriate version number for your device so if you have an iPhone 5 there are two model numbers see it's gonna be right here it's gonna say either a1428 or a1429 if you have a 9 at the end that means your iPhone 5 is CDMA and you must get that version you know basically if it's 4128 or 4129 get the appropriate firmware version otherwise you know it won't let you restore so just letting you guys know that right now so you don't have any frustration later on anyways with that down Downloaded, go ahead and open up iTunes. All right, so with your device connected and the firmware downloaded, on a Windows computer, you're gonna hold Shift. On a Mac, you're gonna hold Option and left-click Check for Update. So here you will select iOS 7, you know, the latest version that you did download, and we're gonna go ahead and select Open. Now you must, and I repeat, you must select Check for Update or Update, whichever one it will be. Do not restore to iOS 7 beta because then it will force you to actually pay, which you can download back to iOS 6. But in order to do this properly, you must select check for update. That way it never actually restores completely so it doesn't register as a developer's device. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and select update. And yes, this is the same process if you're on iOS 7 beta 1 or beta 2, you guys have to manually download the IPSW and update if you weren't able to do it from your device. Anyways, okay, so once this is done, I will be right back. So, you know, you'll get this screen right here. You basically, you'll know your iPhone is successfully restoring or updating to iOS 7 when you get that flat icon Apple logo and the very, very thin progress bar. So you guys are doing good. Now, while this is restoring, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody, all of my fans. You guys have just been so supportive and I'm glad you guys all enjoy iOS 7. Uh, today, I did make a purchase of an Audi R8, my dream car. I just, I can't even believe that it's happening. So I just wanted to thank you guys all when it's here. I actually need some work done on it and uh, I'll be posting a video saying thank you again to all of you guys but you know just wanted to let you know what's going on with me. Uh, anyways this will be done in a couple of seconds so I'll be right back. And here's the setup menu so you guys can run through this real quick. It's not much different from iOS 6's if you're new to this. Uh, you know just really white really plain so go ahead and set it up and I'll be right back. And there you have it iOS 7 running on your iOS device. So if you guys do want to optimize it understand it is still in beta but using my video I'll put a link up here you can make it just a little bit better you know a little bit snappier a little bit faster and better battery life by using the methods in that video. So you know to get the best out of your beta experience right now but guys understand this is a beta it's not perfect it's not guaranteed to be perfect you guys got this for free and you can downgrade back to ios 6 at any time using this video link right here which i'll put there so you know you guys have everything covered for now iOS 7 beta 3 is the newest version. Uh, beta 4 should be out in a couple weeks. Of course, I will let you know when it is out. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy the latest version of iOS 7 beta 3. Again, thank you guys for making my dream possible. Have a great day, guys. Peace.